You can be the smartest leader in your industry if you cannot communicate your knowledge in a way that people can follow you every step of the way, doesn't matter how smart you are. Influence is not about changing who you are and your personality. That, that's you, don't change that. It's about recognizing what already works for you, enhance that, and what's creating distractions through your body language, through your messaging, that you are clueless right now that's even happening. How many of you, how many of you in the last two months, you have been video recorded, you've been audio recorded, for professional reasons? <laughs> Let's give you a chance to take a look through the eyes and ears of your listeners. Set your phone somewhere in front of you, let go of what you know to be true, don't focus on anything just by showing up the way you typically show up every day. Start incorporating video, audio, and playbacks. You will make changes so quickly. So here, here's what influence is, body language, and messaging. They need to be consistent Monday to Monday. Because when your personal brand is consistent, you eliminate all doubt in your listener's mind. That's where authenticity starts to be perceived. I will give you four accountability challenges I promise you're going to be able to use in your personal life and your professional life the minute we part ways. Your first accountability challenge, if you truly want to be consistent with your influence Monday to Monday, is for one week, starting today, you're going to ask someone to give you feedback on whatever it is you want to change. How many of you have someone in your personal life that can't wait to give you feedback? You got it. Let's get you active in that chat right away. Go ahead in that chat, and all you've got to answer is probably in one or two words. What have you often heard people say when you ask, how did I do? What do you often hear in response? Great, nice job. And, and we walk around life saying, everyone says I'm great. <laughs> you, you realize that's not feedback, correct? If you really want to be able to use that feedback, ask them, what did I do? What did I say where you gained the greatest impact? What can I change to give you more value? You may not be as influential as you think you are. If you can't see yourself through the eyes and ears of your listeners, are you determining your level of influence on how you feel rather than on fact? <laughs>